Hey everybody, my name is Ariel and today I'm going to be sharing with you my March favorites. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy that it's the end of March already. I am so ready for some warm weather and I'm just done with the winter blues. I haven't done a favorites video in a very long time so I figured that I would include some of my current favorites. Well, some products that I've been loving for more than just the month of March. I definitely tried a lot of new things this month so I am so happy to include a couple of new favorites and I'm so happy to have discovered new products. Whatever you guys are loving at the moment, leave it in the comments down below. That way we could all see what our favorite products are and that way we could see what we should be trying out. So let's just jump into to my March favorite, some products that I've been loving for a while now and some products that I discovered this month, March. I definitely need to shout out this primer. This is the Spotlight Illuminating Primer from Physicians Formula. It is so bomb. It makes you look like you have this dewy glow from within and it just makes you look so good beneath any foundation. It helped with my smile lines. I noticed that the foundation didn't really crease into them. I just freaking love this primer because of that like dewy type of look and I feel like I'm going to do a lot of that coming this spring and summer. Just I'm going to be doing the do. I'm actually wearing it right now and it really does help with just creating this youthful type of look. It does have very finely milled glitters, just these little specks that you could notice after you wash your face, which doesn't bother me that much, but I, if it will bother you, I just wanted to let you know that it does have these very finely milled specks, but that's what helps with the reflection of light and giving you that just mmm do-ness. For foundation, as you can tell, I have been absolutely loving this BH Cosmetics BH Liquid Foundation. It's the Naturally Flawless Foundation and I am in the shade Light Olive. I freaking love this foundation. It matches me so well right now and I love that it has hyaluronic acid, which I talk about all the time, but it helps with hydrating the skin. I have combination skin, so although I'm using products to help with my oiliness, I still need to attack that dryness because if not it's still it's nothing it's just not gonna look good so I really really love how this makes my skin look and how it just adds that little bit of plumpness so I've been mixing that primer with this foundation I included this in my everyday makeup tutorial because it's really what I've been using every day as you can tell, I freaking love it. I do have a full review on it if you want to check it out. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm really not that much of a blush girl. But I have noticed that sometimes you just need it to complete an overall look because it'll feel like there's like a piece missing from your art. I have been loving this Wet n Wild blush. It is in the shade Rose Champagne and or is it Rosé? It's this really, really pale peach shade and it has just enough color to give you a flush very pinky shades do not look good on me so i appreciate that this isn't like super pinky adds a great sheen to your cheek and i just love it so i'm going to talk about two highlights the first highlight is a drugstore highlight it's the revlon photo ready sunlit dream highlight I've mentioned it a lot of times before, but I have been trying to find new things at the drugstore, even if they're older, and I've just been trying to look for some good products that I've just never tried before. So this was one of them. I am in love with this shade right here. Sometimes I mix it with this one, but it is also the highlight that I'm wearing right now. It's a very pale yellow. I have it on my cupid's bow. I have it on my nose. I have it a little bit on my forehead, but it's a very pale yellow. And I feel like it's the perfect highlight for that transition from the winter to the spring. And I love that it's a type of highlight that looks like it's coming from within. It's not a streaky highlight. It's a very lit from within type of highlight. Another highlight that I've been absolutely obsessed with, not just in the month of March, is this highlighter from Kylie Cosmetics. It is in the shade Salted Caramel. And I've used up enough of this that the form, that like drip form, is already losing its shape. And I have really been loving this. With this Wet n Wild brush, I don't know which one this is from the top of my head. I bought the first collection of them when they first came out during the holidays. And and then they started selling the individual pink handles, but I will leave it in the description box below. This is an awesome highlight. I would apply more, but 
let's just do it. I dip it in here and it has enough blendability, but it has enough pack to it. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit right here on top. Just so freaking pretty and I love this brush to apply this highlighter with because this isn't the most, I don't wanna say it's not pigmented, Depending on the highlight that you want, you do have to give it a little bit of a tug to get that beaming highlight that you want. But I do appreciate it because I know that sometimes we don't want a beaming highlight. I completely understand. So that's why I really like this highlighter because I can mix it up. This lash glue is from KISS. It's their strip lash adhesive with aloe and it's the black one. I have been obsessed with this. This has made applying my eyelashes so much easier. My cousin actually recommended these. She does have her own channel here on YouTube. So I will leave her link down below if you wanted to check her out. And when I have been wearing lashes, I've been using these Christina WSP lashes. If you haven't watched any of my tutorials, I've been using them a ton. They're so comfortable, they're so easy, the band is super thin, and they're so wispy. This is what they look like. I don't know if you can see them just there, but I get them in a pack of six off of Amazon. I get questions about these lashes like in real life, so to say, so like non-internet questions, and I get them off of Amazon. I just put Christina WSP lashes in the search bar, and it's a pack of six for 12 bucks. I actually have to reapply this product, but this has been another favorite for March. It is from the Coco Collection by the Kylie Cosmetics brand. It is their gloss in Damn Gina, and I have been obsessed. But I love the color. It is like such a nice mauve pinky tone with like very reflective fine glitters. And when it does wear off, you still have those very finely milled glitters, but you can see them. Like, you can definitely notice them, so if that turns you off, you would not like this gloss. You can definitely see little glitters, like, stuck to your lips once it's, you can tell that it's been worn off. For my brows, this has been my go-to. My brows have been looking a little bit crazy lately, and that's because I've been growing them out now for, I think, five months. They've completely changed, and I'm just trying to let them go into their natural form before, you know, all of the people that have ever done my eyebrows mess them up. So I'm just letting them do their thing, and sometimes it can get a little bit crazy. I've just been tweezing here and there to create the perfect shape, well, my perfect shape. One end is a very thin micro pencil and I love the consistency of it. I've tried other of their eyebrow products that I did not like, like their regular wooden eyebrow pencil, don't like it, and their other automatic brow pencil did not like the pigmentation at all. But this, I don't know what they did differently, this was very, very pigmented and it's not the overly type where you're just like oh my god how do I blend this out it's just enough that you can build up if you want to so that's what I really like about this formula and then on the other side it has that triangle shape for shading in it's their shade and define or define and shade dual brow pencil and I love using this triangle section to really carve out that tail to really fill it in because that's the part of my eyebrow that I want to be filled in the most. I am in the shade Ebony and I do have it on my eyebrows right now. So I do have to carry around an extra spoolie but it's like no big deal because I've been loving this formula. So this is Maybelline's mascara, their Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara. Honestly, the packaging is what drew me in. And then I read all about it, how it has like coconut extract or something with coconuts. And the first thing that I loved about it, I know, and it's completely irrelevant, like it's, it's only by preference, is that it smelled nice. Usually mascaras smell like crap, like they smell like complete chemicals. I don't know if you've realized that, but when I smelled this mascara wand, because I always smell things, it smelled nice. It smelled like coconuts. It smelled like vacation in a mascara. It is the mascara that I'm wearing right now. I mentioned that I've been trying to find my perfect drugstore mascara. The packaging is super cute, but the formula is also very nice. Like, my eyelashes don't feel crusty. They do feel soft. And this one does help hold a curl. It doesn't flake off all the way. I have had it on for a couple of hours. And yeah, I've just been loving this mascara. So if you follow me on my Instagram, you'll probably see this coming. I have been obsessed with these Kiss Jewel stickers. So I've gone through a lot of them already, as you can see. There are these super pretty nail stickers that you can apply onto your nails, obviously. My nails look like crap right now. I have to redo them. 
but they just change up your manicure to a completely other different level. I don't have time to be going out and doing my nails every week and or don't want to spend the money on it when I could just do it at home by myself. I just do my nails at home and I apply this sticker and it just changes up the entire thing. Like I feel like a new person. Who am I? Who is this? Who is she? I love having them on all of my nails and right now I need to freshen it up a little bit. You know, it gives you a little bit of more oomph with not that much effort. I have to mention this liquid lipstick. This is the shade Truffle from Dose of Colors. And this is the most comfortable wand that you will ever apply your liquid lipstick with. This has been the most comfortable wand out of all of my liquid lipsticks. It was the first time that I had purchased anything from Dose of Colors, so it was a really, really nice first impression that I got from these. And I absolutely love this shade. It's a very nude, everyday type of shade. I am almost done, I promise. One of the non-beauty favorites are these, and I know this might make some of you feel uncomfortable, but I want to make it a thing to not make this topic make people uncomfortable, you know what I mean? Because it's a natural type of things, and I'm talking about tampons. So it has this little pouch where you can apply the applicator in there and discreetly throw it out in the trash. I thought that the addition of that little sticker thing to just discreetly kind of throw away your applicator thing is just super awesome. I'm going to throw in two hair favorites and the first one is this pin. I've lately like found my signature hair which is pretty much one side pinned back and I have been loving very pretty type of bobby pins. They're just Conair bobby pins and they're from the Sophisticates collection I guess and I have been loving them. This L'Oreal Curvets Curl Elastic Mousse. It's what I have on my hair right now and pretty much what I have been wearing every day when I have my hair curly. As you guys know I let go of the heat about two three months ago that I've been trying to get my natural curls back. Curls is a completely other topic and a completely separate conversation and video that I could talk about but I've been learning to just find the best practices for my natural curly hair and it has been working out and I love that this doesn't leave my hair as much as I put on it it doesn't leave it crispy and that's the problem that I had growing up because my parents, I get my curly hair from my dad and he doesn't really have that much knowledge in that long curly hair. So growing up, I, I, had, I had the struggle. Thankfully, my older sister also has curly hair and she introduced me to mousse when I was younger. At the time, the style was to get that wet, crispy curl type look and I just that's not what I'm going for these days and I really like that this keeps my hair nice and soft and giving it that hold that my curls need I have been loving it so that sums up this video I don't know if it was a little bit messy but I just wanted to sit down and film this video for you because I haven't done a favorites in a long time and I personally love watching favorites videos and learning about new good products that I should be trying out so yeah that's what I wanted to do today give this video a thumbs up if you you liked it and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already Just click that bell button that way you get notified whenever I post a video because if not you might not see when I upload which I have been doing every Sunday Tuesday and Thursday I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos it really means a lot to me and I will talk to you guys in my next one bye lash adhesive is la <sighs> Gina I've had a f <clears throat> oh, fuck. this Wet n Wild foundation foundation <laughs> of March. That was very weird. What are what are we doing here? This needs to stop. Everyone, when. <clears throat>